One of the strangest stories of faith is the story of Elisha and the Shudamite woman. Uh, he came to her and um, she had taken care of him, her and her husband, had taken care of Elisha before. And um, set him a candle in a, in a little room so he could come in to rest. And uh, Elisha told her that God would give her a child because of uh, and I'm kind of paraphrasing the story. But anyways, <clears throat> she had the child, she had a son and he got sick and he died and here come Elijah uh, Elisha rather and uh, he's, he sent word and asked her is it well with her and her son and she sent him back word it's well and uh, this is in 2nd Kings verse, uh, chapter 4 uh, verse 26 it says run now pray thee to meet her and say to her is it well with thee and is it well with thy husband is it well with the child and she answered it is well okay and then and her son was laying home dead and telling this prophet is it well and she was speaking by faith because she knew that God have, had the ability to make things good again you know so she was speaking of what she knew in her heart. Even though fear gripped her, she still, she still spoke faith. Faith is a, is a strange thing. When God spoke in the book of Genesis, when he spoke the world into existence, there was, there was nothing there. The Bible, the Bible said it was void and without form. And God began to speak and things begin to happen. And it's the Spirit that you move with your voice that causes these things begin to happen. You know how people will have a different spirit about them? Some people can walk into a room and have a demanding spirit and others walk into a room and have a, a, a humble spirit. And it's, it's not the demanding spirit that God listens to, but it's the humble spirit. And it's, it's the opposite of everything that you know to be true on earth that causes heaven to operate. Down here, the greatest thing about being a, a, a person here, you, when you walk into somebody's room, house and they have service, then you know they're a great person. Okay? But when you get to heaven and you become a servant there, then that's when you are have become a great person in heaven. So I'm saying everything is backwards. Jesus said it like this, they that are first will be last and they that are last will be first. Well, he, said, he used the word some. So, and this is how faith works. It, it doesn't work according to your natural abilities. It works according to your, your spirit and, and how you dwell in God and what you speak, what you say, where you walk and what you read and what you, uh, the things that you put into yourself determines how your spirit is okay and that's what this Shudamite woman this lady was speaking from that part of herself you know and I've had great desire before just to get along with God and talk with him and and get to know him you know I often wondered how these great men of God like Elisha the Bible said he went through a little ordeal there to bring this, her son back to life because 
he laid his staff on his face and there was no life in him. And uh, I'm imagining that would be a shepherd's staff. You know, it was like a big, a tall cane that went up above his head and uh, he used that for knocking out wolves and uh, for getting sheep up out of holes with, you know. <laughs> I think about that every time I think about shepherd's staff. And, but, you know, the Lord he uses that staff around me quite a bit. Gets me out of holes and knocks out the devil when he comes after me. <laughs> okay, But the Shudamite woman, she was speaking faith according to Elijah. Elisha, rather. And <clears throat> he went through this little ordeal about uh, how that he put his hands on his hands, his eyes on his eyes, and he his mouth on his mouth, and and it's it's like he lay right on top of him like that, the child, and and uh, the Bible said, and the child sneezed seven times, and then he woke up. So see, the, this is faith. This is faith, knowing that God will move. On what you say and what you do you know getting to know uh, it seems to be a little bit different a little bit hard for others to comprehend to catch on to exactly what you're saying but by faith by fasting by praying by drawing close to God even when it makes no sense to who you are as a person, um, to everything that you know of the flesh, you know, like my family's, my family chooses uh, to make money over everything else. They choose to make money, you know, and 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 I don't do that. I'm I'm a mite poorer than what they are, but I don't choose to make money over what my family, you know. Uh, over the what my family needs uh, spiritually I choose those spiritual things like I had a chance to get a job making um, about 20 bucks an hour and I didn't take it because I'd had to go on second shift when my kids were growing up and I would have had to been away from my kids uh, during their teenage years and I chose not to do that okay and and that's faith that's faith believing, following after God, and no, I don't have any regrets over doing that. Do I wish I had the money? Of course. What well, I'm not a fool, you know. But the Lord will pay me back, you know. The Lord will pay me back. All right. God bless. Have faith. See you again next time. Crossing the middle of ministry, another great subject. God bless.